Hey everybody, welcome to Simple Calculator. This is actually Simple Calculator Part 2. And let me show you what I have already and what I want to do with this today. Now, this is a previous tutorial I've done and I'll put a link down below if you haven't done this, you can do that. Or you can just download the code and kind of play with this. But I have a very simple calendar, so 3 divided by 3 equals 1.0. What we want to do is we want to be able to actually be able to type 3 plus 3, etc, etc. So we're going to talk about how to do keyboard binding in TK Enter. Um, so this code is based on a kind of tutorial or an online web page I found here at pythonprogramming.altervista.org, etc, 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 and I'll put a link down below. So I don't want anybody to think that uh, I come up with all these things on my own. Um, I do look at other resources because I don't know everything. So, uh, but I do, yeah, I don't want to forget to give credit, but sometimes I do, and I do apologize to those people when I do. Uh, real quick shout out to my members. Uh, Kevin, the snake, 16-bit member. He is the snake because he has finished his first month and is now on month number two of being a member. 16-bit members Paul, Jan, and Mode are also invaders because that is their icon for being a zero-month member. So their invaders, snake is for one month. And also 8-bit member Kim Xiong, the invader. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got to do here. Um, so basically there's two main parts of this. One is we have to do what's called keyboard binding, which is where we tell the computer, we tell TK Enter to what to do when we press a key. Now we can clarify it based on, say, if, if you press key number one, press key number two, get press key number three, um, but that would require a lot more coding. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a key binding that deals with all keys. So I'm going to put a little function and uh, line of code here. So let's see here, key bindings. Uh, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function called def key handler. And you'll see this a lot, uh, the word handler. So a handler handles some sort of event. So in this case it is pressing a key. And for now I'm just going to put pass. And so that's the function that's going to be called every time we press a key. And then I have to do the binding. And so that is root so I'll put actually, yeah, so that is root. And root comes from up here where we created the root window. And again, if you haven't followed this tutorial, you're not sure how this works, you might want to watch that first. Uh, yeah. So this was actually a request by Kevin, the snake. Uh, but then he said he didn't he wasn't he wasn't that into it, but I just went ahead and do it anyway. So root dot bind parentheses quote key. And check watch the watch the capitalization. I think that's pretty important. And so what that means is any key. Now, if I change this to, I think, like A, or maybe maybe like A, it would do only capital A, or small a like that. But I want to do key. Um, if I want to do the return key, it would be like return. But I want to do all keys. And you'll see why in a second. And so we say, which key or keys are we binding? And we want to, what, e, what method do we want to call? So this is key handler. And remember with TK enter, we don't put parentheses here. Now, you've probably noticed that there is something here in the parentheses, even though we didn't put anything here. This bind method by default will send some type of event to that function when we call it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put print uh, event dot key sim. And that means key symbol. This is the internal symbol that TK enter uses. If I can find a link, I'll put that down below too. But if I forget, let me know. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so notice no errors, good sign. So let's go ahead and three, that's working. Okay, so now I'm gonna just start typing some keys and watch down here in the terminal. Okay, so that was a backslash to so A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, plus. Notice how the plus came out as plus, not plus, the, the sign, equal, minus, so we always said slash, uh, and what's time, so the asterisk. Okay, so we got shift L and we got asterisk out of that. So we need to account for this in our program. Okay, so basically numbers work as expected. Um, see backspace if we wanna add deletions. Um, return is the return key for calculating. And let's see here. Parentheses right, parentheses left. So you see we got to deal with all these different cases where we're getting not the symbol, but we're actually getting the key sim. So let's go ahead and 
uh, stop that. Sorry, let's bring that back. Now, I am actually out in the countryside. I usually live in Tokyo, but I'm out in the countryside, so I don't have all my fancy Evex and transitions working, so I apologize for that. So, what we want to do is start out. Let's deal with numbers, because they're the easiest. So, if event dot, oops, event dot, dot key sim in, I'm just going to make a list of numbers. So, I think it's got to be. I think it's got to be a string. I think it's going to return a string. We'll find out in a second. Five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. So if it's one of those numbers, okay. So look up here. So you see how we we added a value. So this is the function that we use to add symbols to what was going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that function. So if it's one of the numbers, I'm going to say add events.keysim. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if that works. Notice how I'm testing it piece by piece. I'm not kind of trying to do the whole thing at once, which all my students like to do. So I want to do two. Okay, so two works. And I'm going to hit slash two divided by three. I'm going to do equals. Okay, it works. Numbers definitely work. Um, so let's go ahead and deal with the other situations. So if event.keysim equals, we had, I think we had add, then add plus, let's do L, L, L if to make it a little more efficient. L if event dot, so we're just dealing with each of these as we go. Um, was it minus? Let's see what happens here. Um, add minus l if event dot key sim. Uh, what was it? Equals. I think it was asterisk, and that's going to be add an asterisk. Oops, got to put it in quotation marks. L if event dot key sim. Ooh, it was slash I believe slash uh, add slash okay let's go ahead and try that and see what happens so I've added the symbols so I'm just going to type 2 plus 2 okay 2 and 2 eat works um, okay so something's going wrong so I'm going to go ahead and just print event dot key sim and see what happens here so I'm going to type 2 plus Ah, it's not add, it's plus, okay. Minus, I got minus, okay. So this should be not add, it should be plus. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that code in there for now just while I'm testing this so I don't make any more mistakes, stupid mistakes like that. Or make fewer stupid mistakes like that. So two plus two, okay, that's working. And hit equals. And let's see, minus two equals two. Uh, plus, minus, and we gotta do divide. What divided by four equals three point five. Okay, so it's pretty much working how we expect it to work. Um, now, oops. Now we still got a few other keys to deal with. Let me pull those back up. And we got C, we got dot, and we got equals. Okay, so equals is gonna be basically hitting the return key. Okay, so when we hit equals. That's when we want to uh, calculate. Um, we also got a clear function when we hit C. So let's let's go ahead and do clear because that's pretty easy. So L if event dot key sim equals C. Let's probably do small C. Why don't we do in case it's in case they've got uh, you know capital letters uh, caps lock. Okay, so add, uh, no, it's not add, it's clear. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Again, just kind of testing it as I go along. So two plus two uh, equals, and I'm gonna hit C. And you can see it is now cleared. All right, I'm pretty happy with this now. Um, equals, there's nothing. And then the final one is L if, I think it's the final one, event.keysim equals return 
And in that case, this is when we're going to go ahead and calculate. Oops. Because that is the function up here that we created to do that. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so one plus one, uh, enter, two. All right, plus two. Now, I, I do have an equals key. I think why don't we go ahead and just do the equal key as well. Um, so if we hit enter or return or equals, we'll calculate. So in return or equal. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so one plus one uh, minus two, oops. Ooh, I didn't deal with backspace. Times, oops, okay. Let's go ahead and deal with backspace. <laughs> so, uh, we got backspace. So, elif event dot, uh, event dot key sim uh, equals, it was backspace, so note the capitalization. What do we gotta do here? We gotta make, we gotta remove one item from The let's see what is it? Um, the label and the expression. Okay, so we're using expression. Okay, I got it. So we got to remove the last letter from expression. So what we do is we say uh, to do global up here. I know I shouldn't use global variables, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Expression. It's easier sometimes. So again, if, I'm, I'm assuming you've just watched the, uh, the previous video. So you have to review that one for kind of what's going on. So expression equals expression. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice it. So from the zeroth character to the length of expression minus one. And what that'll do is it'll chop off the last letter. Now there's probably an easier way to do this, but that's, that's the one I wanna do. Uh, and then we need to update the label result. And that should do it. Um, okay. Unmatched parenthesis. Um, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, don't need a backspace there. Okay. Or parenthesis there, sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Two plus two equals four, fantastic, uh, times four gives us 10. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, backspace. Okay, so you can see it's kind of working. The only thing is the expression isn't changing how it's supposed to. So, let me see here. Um, this may be a slightly different version of the live one I did. That would be a bummer. But uh, expression equals clear, regulate. Ah, okay, yeah. I forgot to put uh, expression equals result. Okay. So yeah, so expression equals result. So that will reset that back. So let's go ahead and check this one more time. Oops, the old one's still running. Okay, so two plus two, enter gives us four, backspace. Object int has no length. Length of expression. Alrighty, lovely. Expression equals result. Okay, equals string result. Gotta be careful with our types. Uh, let's go ahead and try it again. So two plus two equals, I actually hit enter, backspace, nice. Five times five, enter, hit enter, just evaluates, times five, and I think it's working. Oh, I didn't do period, period. Okay, so that should be an easy one. So, miss that one. And I'll put that up here since it's, that's not what I wanted. 
I'll put that here since it's kind of part of this section. Um, L if event dot key sim uh, equals period, and then so we're going to add period. Okay, let's test it. So I'll say 2.2 times 3.4, enter 7.48. I'm going to assume that's correct. Um, and then I can go ahead and delete. If I hit an extra delete, I wonder if I get an error. Nope, fantastic. Um, 5 plus 5. Okay, so now it is working. It's basically, it's a, you can do either keyboard or you can do the key. So let me just go over that real quick. Um, so basically what we did, well, we had to fix that little expression thing there, but beyond that, um, we added a function called a key handler, and that handles all of our key presses. And by default, it sends an event, and to get the key press out of that, whatever key that we've pressed, we use event.keysim, okay? And if it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, or zero, we add that to the expression. If we get plus, we add the plus symbol, minus, minus symbol, asterisk, asterisk symbol, and that's for multiplication, slash, the slash symbol. And if it's a small c or a capital C, we clear the, the expression. And then if it's a period, we add the period. And if it's return or equal, we actually calculate, because that's what we want to happen. And if we do backspace, we just lop off the last character of the expression and update the label result. And the magical command that uh, let's that makes that all happen is root dot bind key and key handler the name of the function so et voila again uh, as I do with most of my tutorials or most of what I do um, there's a lot of googling especially stack overflow is is my go-to um, this one happened to be python programming dot vista dot org so check out that website for more so thanks for watching keep on coding